welcome to another hard antler hunting video. I jump back into the Yorongaronga Valley for a bit of a different mission this time. I'm taking my 6.5mm Creedmoor out to do a little bit of goat culling at longer ranges. After a good amount of range work this thing was dialed in quarter MOA using the 147 ELD match traveling at 2700 feet per second. The only reason this rifle wouldn't shoot well now was me. So come along with me and enjoy this beautiful landscape. Make sure you stick around for the tech tip of the trip as well. Okay, so I've got a rock face that I'm going to verify my Creedmoor on. Uh, it is 895 yards away. And so I've got the big camera up there too that's going to film. And there's a particular rock. It's probably only about 8 inches in diameter. Um, and we're going to see if we can verify this load with... We've done 24.6 MOA of elevation and the scope's pretty much run out. I could feel it starting to get to the end, so I'd say we'd have 25 MOA to be it. Uh, so that being such a heavy rifle, we should be able to verify a shot from that far by um, doing our own visuals, but we'll get the camera just so you can see it as well. Um, so yeah, get into it. Also allowing for 10 inches of wind drift at that distance. Of course I didn't see it, did I? Oh, I think that's two shots on the rock. With everything verified and ready to go, it was time to head into the hills. I swing the hammock and set up a camp in hopes that the next morning will be a nice windstorm morning for some of those wonderful long range shots. I spot two wild cats. This one in particular looking quite evil. But I left them alone and got on with my hunting. Good morning guys. Um, it's the next morning now. I've just come right into a different area actually. So let me pick up the goats. Oh, <coughs> it's cold. Um, I've got some goats about five or six hundred yards down here from me. So I'm just going to head up this shingle stream and get set up in a good position to Take a shot. Alright, there's a few goats starting around down in here at about 480. I just saw another one come across the river up here. He must be 650, 700. It's really, really windy today. It's meant to be light winds, which down here there's no such thing. So I would hazard there's probably 40 or 50 kilometers an hour, but it's easterly. It's an easterly, so it's coming in behind me and quite predictable. It's just kind of cutting, I would say it's like a quarter value. Oh, here he is, here they come. They're all coming in towards me now, so they could smell me. So I'm going to get set up. But yeah, I'd say it's like a quarter value wind, but strong, so I think it's pretty predictable. So I'm feeling pretty comfortable with it. Yeah, it would be great if there was something up in here. There would be no wind hold because it's just the easterly would just be just sheltered. I might have a glass up there quickly first before I commit to well, let's do my ballistics for these guys. I picked up these guys, they were 708 yards away, I'm walking back into their creek that they were, here, were feeding out of. So I get set up, ready to take the shot. Give it a 
one less. Uh, no, click less. There are about there are seven or eight. Seventeen inches one left. It's gonna be a hard shot. Plus the walking. Which is not great. to check the footage. I think I flew over his back. Um, doesn't surprise me much. The wind hold was, but I just went over his back and hit a rock behind him. Unless I went through it and then hit a rock, but I'm going to have a look for blood. I'm going to have a look. I'm not feeling too confident. About half an hour later, this guy pops out of the bush in the same stream area and presents himself really nicely for a side-on shot. Right now I've ranged 702. But he just keeps moving around, so I'm just going to get my rangefinder. And I'm just going to wait. Okay, find him now. There he is. He's come quite a bit closer. So things have moved 10 yards. The range is, uh, it's totally flat, so I find the ranging part of it the hardest. I've had this in the past, where you're just 10 yards off, 15 yards off, and at a distance you're flying over the animals. My wind holds are perfect. I'm watching the rocks split open, so I'll check the footage, but the range is just so hard to get right. It's really hard. Anyway, no excuses. Welcome to the tech tip of the trip. Well, after checking the footage, I confirmed that both of these shots were clean misses. And I could not figure out why. My wind holds were good. When I had a look, there was no blood, nothing. Well, the problem started here, back at camp. My tech tip of the trip is double check your ballistics app. I fiddled around with my 284 Winchester 
ballistics in the app the night before and forgot to change it back to the Creedmoor. I know, it's incredibly rookie. So rookie, that one hurt. Um, so the tech tip of the trip comes out of a bit of pain for this time. Um, a lesson learned the hard way. I've been dialing for years and now finally I'm gonna put a double check system in place where I'm actually in my workshop and I'm gonna make up a very basic double check MOA chart so that I can just look on my stock where I'll laminate it to and when I'm going out at those distances I know that it's a double checker to my ballistics app. If it's a few MOA out or whatever I might be, oh I'm in the wrong rifle. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed that hunt. The outcome wasn't what I wanted it to be but I'll keep at it um, and I'll see you on the next video. Catch ya!